This is the Soul Supply Paris store guide. Showing you the best places to cop your sneakers and streetwear in the city. Let's get it. We are here in SNS in, where are we? We are in Paris, SNS, opened three and a half years ago and is one of the biggest sneaker stores in the whole city. We're up in a nice little, what I'm gonna call the trying on area. Yeah, Vans and Reebok. And for those of you that don't know, SNS stands for sneakers and stuff. Because in this store, you've got sneakers and other stuff. I mean, what more could you ask for as a sneakerhead? You need all that stuff when you're buying your sneakers. So as soon as you come in on the right hand side, this is the Nike section. The Swoosh brand is presented well here. There is so many good high heat sneakers that you can cop. I mean, George, what are you feeling? Do you know what I'm feeling, mate? I'm feeling some of these Nike SBs over here. Are you feeling Nike SBs? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like this color palette, this pastel color palette on these Nike SBs. Yeah, fire. As you can expect with s and they will get the high heat collab. So you've got stuff like Gaia Kuzu, as well as the on-air collection that you have seen in other stores. And but, Atmos. Oh, I mean, that's a very loud shoot. Let's be honest, but it's a banger. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on around, then you do have apparel by the Swoosh brand such as ACG. But what this store boasts the most is a wide variety of different brands. So as you're walking on through, you do have Fila. You have other brands like High Tech that you don't often see when you go around these stores. Sorry, I'm just trying to not to fall over here. There's a lot of people. It's always busy in this shop, so that's why you know it's high heat. And do you know what I love? Is that this is at the opposite end of the spectrum to like your JD Sports. This is calm, this is really easy to shop in. It makes you feel like you wanna be in here. So as you come around to the back of the store, this is the women's section. And as you can see, it has score on the back. We learned something new today. That is Swedish for sneakers. And if you didn't know, this was originally opened in Stockholm, so it's a Swedish brand. And this used to be a bank as well. Okay, so I don't know if you knew this from the inside, but you used to be able to get loads of money out of your bank in here. Rounded off with yet more streetwear apparel and some high heat sneakers from the lights and New Balance, SNS is a must visit and it is in the heart of the shopping district. And let's not forget guys, SNS's own brand is fire. I own quite a few bits and these sliders right here, take a look. These could bless your feet in their new LA store. SNS is where it's at. This is Shinzo Paris, one of six stores on the same street, but we're focusing on the flagship. Opened over 20 years ago, this brand new retail space only opened in September, but it's one of the best retail experiences I have ever seen. We're in the first area here, and as you can see, this big screen here, and I bet you're thinking, Chris, what is that? You literally tap right here, and then with that, Shinzo can send you a secret code, and if there is a high heat release, if you're lucky enough, one of these magic boxes will turn green, and then you can pick up your latest pair of crepes. As we move on into the second room, this store has everything that you can ask for. We're talking high heat releases such as Yeezy, and we've got all the latest Nike releases as well. But this giant case right here can build outfits for you. So as you can see, there's a plethora of bottoms, Converse, and hoodies. All you need to do on this screen right here is pick out your favorite pieces. It will build that outfit for you and send you an email as to where you can cop it. I mean, that's shopping made easy right there. You don't even need to try it on. You can just see it in front of you. And then as we come into our third space, this is all about the history of the sneaker. As I said, Shinzo has been open for 20 years and primarily used to focus on runners. So if you want to know about the latest sneakers, such as the Nike Cortez or the Nike Airflow and learn their history, all you need to do is put the resin silhouette onto the plinth and with that, the screen will tell you all about that sneaker, the year at least, and every fact you need to know. And then finally, we come into our full section of the store, and this is a gallery space. This is where a monthly exhibition will be taking place, so you need to be visiting this store on the regular, just to make sure you catch all of the amazing experiences it has to offer.
This is Foot Patrol. Down the road from the Centre Pompidou is Foot Patrol's second store. Obviously, they have their London store, but this one released last May and it is an absolute banger in my opinion. As soon as you walk in, you have that high heat Nike, and as you can see, we have the Vapormax on air collection, Atmos, and Mars Landing. High heat sitting in the store it is definitely worth a visit. Take a look as well. Foot Patrol vans, guys. Look at this. I'm going to buy this today. <laughs> As well as selling Foot Patrol's own collaborations with the likes of Vans and Converse, they also have the Alexander Wayne collection and their own apparel, which is always worth a look. And then as you come around to the back of the store, you have the lesser known brands, such as Saucony, but they're still worth a look. Salomon, one of the only two stores to stock this brand in the whole of Paris. See, you need to come here for the highest of heat. And then when you come around to the left of the store, this is where Adidas sits. You have your Raf Simmons, a Belgian designer always kills it. Even some 4Ds right here. Cool, can't say 4Ds, what's going on? Yeah, and you've got a whole wall dedicated to basketball as well. Um, as you know, in, in Paris, the basketball scene is huge, bigger than London. So over here, you've got your Jordans, um, you've got your LeBrons as well, and you've even got some Adidas, uh, like the Crazy 8 Ball as well here. So yeah, you've got a good basketball selection. And then to round it off, we have all the accessories handpicked by Foot Patrol. So we have Bear Bricks, All Gone, as well as Jason Mark, all of your hype beast essentials that you need to be copying. We have now down the road from Nike Lab at Supreme New York. As you can imagine, this is the highest heat streetwear that you're going to cop. Opened in 2016 and founded by James Jever in 1994, this is one of the few European stores with London. And as you look inside the window, you can see artwork by Mark Gonzalez. It's one of the cleanest and most aesthetically pleasing stores you're going to visit. Thursdays, they're a write-off though. Don't come down unless you're on the guest list because you're not getting in. We're standing outside the Galerie Lafayette, a shop that's been open over a hundred years. This is Paris's equivalent of Selfridges and it is a luxury department store. I'm telling you, it has everything for you streetwear enthusiasts. We got brands like Off-White, Heron Preston and all your upmarket streetwear brands that you're going to need. At the moment they do have a pop-up by round two, so Sean Wotherspoon. And on top of that they sell exclusive number pieces. It's just a sick store, you have to come and visit. They've even got security on the door. It's very important. It's very hot. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> This is what Gallery Lafayette has to offer. They can pull in the biggest brands in the world just to make clothes especially for them. Hero Preston as well as brands such as Noah have recently collaborated with them for World Earth Day. And on top of that, as you can see, a wealth of accessories and some of the biggest streetwear labels that you can find. This is Opium, Paris's signature basketball store. It launched in 2001 and it's got a whole range of banging basketball sneakers. Let's take a look. Cool. So we're going to step inside now and straight away on the right hand side you're going to see the Jordan PSG collaboration. As you can see Paris on the jersey. But let's take a look at the sneaker wall. This is real important. You've got your Adidas basketball sneakers followed by your Jordans here, some Jordan 4s. But the real interesting thing is in the floor you've got cubes. And this is all dead stock, okay? This is your super rare pairs that have been vacuum packed and they're probably worth quite a lot of money, all of these right here. Um, so that's a really nice thing as well. And there's also a next door. So how about we go and check that out as well? Okay, so now you've seen the basketball section next door, but this, this is the lifestyle section. And do you know what I love about this, okay? You've got dead stock. So this is kind of like a museum of old sneakers that aren't available anymore, but Sadly, they're not available to buy. What you're also going to love is, if you're a sneakerhead and you're a Nike fan, take a look at this wall. There's fire along here and take a look at these. These aren't available in a lot of stores anymore, guys. You're going to move along this wall, you've got your Ultra Boost, you've got your Asics, you've got your Vans, old schools, your Classics. And then moving into the back, they're bringing more history again. Up here, you're going to struggle to see this, but you've got a timeline of when Opium started from 2001 to the present day. And it tells you these guys have also got stores in Amsterdam and Berlin too. It's a lot of history in here and it's a real nice vibe, I'm telling you that. And finally, take a look at some of these pictures. And if you're a sneakerhead and you love your magazines, then take a look. You've got Sneaker Freaker, you've got Hype Track, you've got all of the classic magazines here.
Okay guys, me and Chris are in Nike Lab P75 in Paris. This was the first European Nike Lab store to open and as you know, this has got the highest seat Nike, hasn't it? Yeah man, opening in 2016, the New York and Tokyo were the first stores, but this is first European and the highest of heat as George is about to show you. Only one size left of this though guys, only one. It has got full Earth Day pack as well as the on-air collection. And then look, as you're going back, you have the nice blazer. We have the satin Air Force Ones. Just everything you can ask for. <laughs> and then as we come around to this wall, at the moment they do have the Atmos collection, one of the highest heats of 2019. So as you can expect from Nike Lab, they're gonna have all the best releases from the Swoosh brand. Oof, shell suit. Moving on up. We're up here now and this is the women's section, dedicated to the females. So very, very technical, some of this Nike ACG wear over there. And then you're gonna notice the colors up here, okay? But it's very simple. Gives you room to try your stuff on and breathe. It's a lovely store, man. Like Nike Lab once again, Nike Lab clothing. I mean, these are the craziest shorts you're ever gonna see. We have one pair, two pair, three pair, four pair, all in one pair of shorts. I think this would suit me. <laughs> I've always said yellow is your colour, George, I have to admit. <laughs> okay, so I'm standing outside the Pompidou Centre now, and some of you may not know that this was the building that inspired the Air Max One. And I'll tell you why. If you take a look at the building, you'll see that some of the structural elements are actually on the outside. And this is what inspired Tinker Hatfield to show visible air. So that's where the air bubble is seen by the world. This is Star Cow Paris and personally my favourite shop in all of the city. The first time I come here I remember that Nike SB Tiffany Blue just sitting on the shelf and today is no different. I mean straight away. We have the Nike Air Max Shilak SK Air. And even, look at this, Nike Air Max 97 Swarovski instantly sold out and it's still available here. What seriously sets this store apart is its amazing array of streetwear as well as crepes. So as we come through into the main part of the store, it's very busy in here today, so I apologise. <coughs> Starcow is traditionally a skateboarding store. So as you can see, the plethora of vans as well as DC shoes, Adidas, it's, it's simply amazing if I'm being honest. And then they have their own brand skatewear, but when you come to the back, this is where streetwear heaven comes to life. As you can see, more 96 Starcow apparel. Always expect a crowd when you're in this store. And if you're under six foot, mind your head. I've bumped my head quite a few times on here. As you come to the back, we have Champion, as well as the world-renowned Stussy and Pata. Only place in Paris that you can buy a Pata. This makes it a must-cut for streetwear enthusiasts and sneakerheads alike. This is the Adidas original store in the heart of Paris. And as soon as you come in, it is a mecca for the three stripes. We're talking high heat collab, High heat releases, as you can see from my left. We have Bake, we have 4D, we have everything you can ask for. And they will always have a nice installation for the biggest releases at the moment, such as the Night Jogger. And if you're unsure on what you want to cop, when you come towards the end of the store, you even have a little calendar so you can see this week's been busy for Adidas. We have Hender Scheme, Donald Glover, as well as a Yeezy launch. But the Pierre de Resistance for this has to be the sneaker wall. Very similar to the Harbury Street store, when you come towards the back of the store, I mean, look. This is an absolute growl fest. We're talking all of Adidas's latest silhouettes and it is even cozy for when you try your shoes on. What more could you ask for as a sneakerhead? And if you need your free strap accessories, obviously this store's got you covered. So if you're undecided on what you want to cop of the upcoming releases, I mean, look, here you have the Eric Emanuel and you even have this exclusive Yeezy. And they have them on show so you know what's coming up and you know whether or not to cop. As you come to the other side of the store, this is where the main apparel section is. We have men's and women's clothes, so you're kitted out for the rest of the summer or winter, it depends when you're watching this. You need to be visiting the Adidas original store here in the heart of Paris. Okay, you've seen it in London and now you've seen it in Paris. It is one of the busiest stores on the street and that is size. We're in Let Out, which is just down the road from the Centre Pompidou. And as George said, size here is a madness. Not only has it got better releases than the London store, we have like 4Ds, an exclusive pair. Yeah, the shoes, the shelves are packed with shoes. I can see all sorts of heat within the first few inches of the store. It's crazy. 
We have like on air pads as well as 4D currently sitting. And as we said in Nike, the Jordan selection out here is unprecedented. It's crazy. The French people love their Jordans and they love their basketball. <laughs> as you can see on the shelves, the skateboarding selection is on point as well as Converse. But what makes size the store that is, is their streetwear selection and their selection of accessories. Yeah, the accessories is on point. So, as we said, this is one of the busiest stores that we've been in so far. But as you come upstairs, the women's wear section is on point. Probably the best in Paris for us so far. And here it is. We don't just cater for the men here, we do cater for women as well. So as you can see, they've got everything. They've got New Balance, Nike, Adidas, Converse, Bands, anything that you can think of, size has got it for the women. Yeah, this for me is the best women's selection in Paris uh, so far. <laughs> and then when you come to the back of the store, this is where the streetwear section truly excels. We have Adidas Originals, we have Stussy, and we also have brands like Columbia. They're showing the less known brands that people still love, and they're showcasing them against the brands that we all wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Whoa. See, he's even tripping over me. There's too much heat in here. Look, Sergio, inside. We are now down the road from the River Seine and Notre Dame at Bape's first independent store in Paris. I mean, you can see it straight away. Look at the logos, look at the window. This is classic Japanese streetwear at its finest and anything that you need from Bape will be here. We're talking bare bricks, we're talking accessories as well as those shark logo hoodies. So this is definitely worth a visit. We are here in Pigalle, Paris, and you probably know this because it's one of the best streetwear brands out there right now. It's Parisian's own brand, and if you take a look just in the store itself, it's a basketball player's mecca. Straight here, we have the Jordan PSG collab, and on top of that, they stock their own brand clothing, and it is fire. This is literally the only place that you can buy this brand, and if you just take a look right here, unprecedented style and on top of that the quality is exceptional and then to round it off you've probably seen it before the Pigalle basketball court is a must for your Instagram shot